Welcome to Fix This, presented by Home Advisor, the free and easy way to find the best home pros. So are you looking for that perfect costume for your holiday party? How about transforming into a zombie just like this right here? My little zombie right here. This is Grace, my daughter. Uh, Kevin Ward is here. He is a lead effects artist for the 13th Floor and the Asylum. And you were also a competitor on Face Off on the yes. Sci-Fi Channel. Thank you so much for joining us today. So you've already transformed Grace. We put it on tape. Mm -hmm. And we'd love you to talk us through the process. What did it take? to turn Grace into a zombie because it looks like her nose is missing. Okay, well, good. It was actually very easy because everything here is very inexpensive and it's easy to do at home. Basically, what I began with is this liquid latex right here. You can get this at many makeup stores here in town, disguises, wizard's chest, places like that. There's also another store here in Denver I love, Reynolds Advanced Materials. They sell this in droves. So you can get it there, and what I always do is I start with latex on the skin, and I use just regular cotton to break it apart. Kind of just sculpt right on the face, wherever you want the wound to go, and then brush more latex on, so you're basically encapsulating cotton inside latex. Once that dries, you can just color stuff with basic grease paint. These are color wheels that you can also get here in town at really any makeup shop. And most general stores will carry them too because it is that season. So Walmart, King Supers, you name it. And everything is easily applied with simple tools, popsicle sticks, got basic brushes here. The blood I used isn't anything fancy, just another product you can get at Spirits, any makeup store. So yeah, once the latex is applied, it needs to dry. And then around the wound, I like to just kind of stipple a little bit of color, make the skin look like it's broken up and also make it just look kind of, kind of blotchy, like there's busted capillaries. I like to draw in veins with like blue and red back and forth, just using really thin brushes. These are actually just painting brushes and I like them because you can get a lot of detail with it. And everything here is water-based, so this will all wash off just fine, regular soap and soap water. Soap and water, and we did have a question earlier by yeah. somebody on Facebook, what if you were allergic to latex? Do you have an alternative? Yeah, if you're allergic to latex, there are a few things you can use. You can use a product called gelatin that you can also get uh, wizard's chest disguises and that's easy uh, you can blend that down with witch hazel which you can get at most grocery stores you can also get scar wax which is readily available at a lot of the makeup stores here in town that's another material where really you just you put it on the skin in like a thick paste and then you can like carve into it so at the 13th floor in the Asylum Haunted Houses, mm -hmm. how many people do you have to make up every night and how long does that take? Does it take a team of you? And, and how Yeah, the team isn't too big. It usually takes about four to five makeup artists. On a slower night, we might only have three makeup artists and we'll have over 40 actors some nights. So we gotta bust them out fast. We only have an hour, hour and a half to get them all done. So that's why it's kind of just real quick and dirty, honestly. <laughs> you know, I Quick, mean, dirty, and messy. Yeah, it, it's it's always messy, which is fine. I, I, I wouldn't trust a clean artist anyways. Awesome. Well, we love it. She looks absolutely great. Grace, how does uh, how does it feel to be a zombie? Do you feel like you look? Um, it feels like there's a wet towel on your face that just won't come off. Were you shocked when you saw yourself in the mirror for the first time? Yes. Yeah. Very. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you so much. Of mm -hmm. course, we are putting all the information you need to know about this on 9news.com slash fix this. Are you looking for help with your Fix This project? Home Advisors Project Advisors are taking calls now to help you find the right pro to get your project done.